So my contact lens is going to be trouble yesterday, so I tried to do my glasses. Yeah. But one of my earpieces had broken off entirely. So I made an earpiece out of sewing thread. Oh my god. And it almost, it kind of worked, but my glasses were still kind of crooked. So I thought about breaking off the other earpiece and doing the same <laughs> thing on that side. <laughs> you goob! Because I tried to super glue the other earpiece back on, but it didn't work. Get new glasses, my dude! Dude, that costs money. You, you have money! Because I don't piss money away. I don't buying piss new, money away either. You gun every month and buying eye, eyewear. I don't piss money away either. I still have quite a bit of money. Yeah, me too. But I'd have more if I didn't buy glasses. Mike, it's okay to buy things occasionally. I've been talking about that with my girlfriend, about how for the longest time she basically had no money. She got so used to not buying things that now she just really doesn't ever buy anything. She just keeps looking at them and going, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I would like to get that someday and then doesn't get it. Right. And she was like, I kind of envy you that you go to stores and see something and you say, ooh, I like that. And then you buy it. <laughs> With no regard for your financial well-being. Uh, no, I have regard for my financial well-being. I yeah. check my bank account once a month. I do have regard. Contempt is regard. Contempt. I hate money. <laughs> I hate money and I want get to ri get rid of it as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. We went to an outdoor store just to kind of look at... I was looking for a revolver. Lo and behold... A P90 <laughs> sitting in the shelf, and I was like, <laughs> Yeah, as you often do. The P90 is one of two guns that I used to own that I regret selling. Um, What's the other one? A Benelli M4, mm. which is a shotgun. They had one there, and instead of just going like, I'm going to buy it right now, I waited, and I said, I will think about it, and determine whether or not I actually want it, because it is something that I want so badly it's become a meme. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so I, I'm probably going to go, I'm probably going to go pick it up tomorrow. All right. A while ago, I was talking about how much I, I hate taking care of teeth. Yes. And how it's a huge pain in the ass. And I, and I wish I didn't have to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I forgot, I neglected to explain why, uh, other than the obvious reasons of why taking care of your teeth is a pain in the ass. Yes. Or a pain in the mouth. Ha 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 I bought new dental floss. Like a charcoal... <laughs> You'd been using the same strand for the last five years? Well, yeah. <laughs> really, it was less of a floss and more of like a twine. Uh, that's disgusting. Yeah. It was starting to grow life. So I bought new dental floss, and it was like, ooh, it comes in this little black box. That seems really neat. And it's a charcoal-infused dental floss, which is supposed to help make your teeth shinier. Mm -hmm. Yay, I'll oh. try this. The first time I tried to use it, apparently my teeth are so freaking close together... That I couldn't even get it in between my teeth without digging into my fingers. It felt like I was trying to garrot somebody. <laughs> like, that's how much tension it was putting on my fingers doing that. Jeez. I'm trying to get this thing in my freaking teeth. And then, like, second tooth in. And it snaps. The, the dental the floss snaps. The tooth snaps! Oh, no! No, the dental, the dental floss. Thank <laughs> God it wasn't my tooth that snapped. The dental floss just snaps in half. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, oh, great. Okay, fine. Oh, no, there's a piece stuck in Ah, oh, yeah, that's the worst. I was up until 5 in the morning trying to get it out. Oh, jeez. And because of how close those teeth are situated, I couldn't use more dental floss <laughs> to get it out. That was my suggestion. Every single time I tried using that dental floss, it would just snap in half. <laughs> and then, Another eventually, there. more was getting caught in there. So I'm, I'm standing in front of the mirror with dental picks that I normally would use to clean guns. <laughs> Trying to grab this fucking piece of dental floss and pull it out of my teeth and it wouldn't come out. Jeez, your teeth are really impacted together. I was late for work the next day because I had to stop at the grocery store and I just bought like seven different kinds of floss. And just was sitting in my car with a piece of floss just going like... God, I get rid of it! It's ah, ah, crazy! Get it out! Get it out of my mouth! Get it out of my mouth! And just like screaming in my car and trying to remove it. I eventually, I did get it out of my mouth. Good. But yeah, that was just an absolute nightmare. How are your four molars? My four molars? You know, the extra molars. Oh, you mean my wisdom teeth? Yes. Oh, I had those removed years ago. Oh, so that's not the reason why your teeth are closed. No, but that is the reason that one of my teeth is off kilter. I have a tooth in the front that's slightly off center because when my wisdom teeth started coming in, they pushed all my teeth forward. That one started going eh! and moving backwards. Ah, okay. So I have to spend extra attention on him mm. to make sure that he doesn't turn yellow. <laughs> Did you ever get that... Thing on your finger checked out? Um, VA was supposed to call me to go to an appointment. And I didn't answer because it was 8 in the morning and I was still asleep. Yeah, you don't wake up until 10. 
if I don't go to work until one in the afternoon, then yeah, I'm not going to wake up at eight in the morning. Fair. So they called me at eight in the morning, left a voicemail message, tried to call him back, wouldn't answer. Tried to call him back again, wouldn't answer. Mm -hmm. Tried to call him back again, didn't answer. I left seven or eight voicemail messages that got increasingly angry. They never called me back. Oh, okay. They never called me back. The VA, ladies and gentlemen. I was never able to get an appointment scheduled. And now, because it's been so long since they initially called me, if I still want to go to a hand surgeon and get it looked at, I have to go back to the doctor and tell them that I want to have a hand surgeon look at it. Because... Because the, orig the original referral has expired. Jeez. One of the days where it was incredibly painful, and the little bump was swollen up, I was poking at it, and it made, like, a squidgy noise, and then, like, deflated inside my finger. What? So it basically drained inside my own finger. <laughs> okay. Um, and then now the bump is really tiny again, and it doesn't hurt anymore. You drained the fluid in your finger? I drained the fluid into my own body, so I guess I'm lucky I didn't go into, like, toxic shock or something. <laughs> or that my finger didn't go gangrenous and fall off. Uh-huh. Um, it's, but yeah, now my finger is basically fine. Just a tiny little insignificant bump yeah, now? Yeah, it's a tiny little insignificant bump. You never even knew anything was there. So it resolved of its own accord. That was fun to deal with. That It was great. It was great times being in a lot of pain <laughs> and not having anybody be able to help. My girlfriend did point out something very interesting, though. Because um, she went with me to VA okay. to get this problem looked at. I was talking mad shit on the VA, and she, she said, I mean, it's pretty much like every time I've had to go to the doctor in the U.S. And I realized that VA healthcare is basically on par with U.S. healthcare. It's just as shitty. Yeah, the only difference is that you don't have to pay yeah. thousands of dollars for it. Yeah. So, like, why, why the hell can't they give that to everybody? Because then how would they make thousands of dollars? I don't know. So, yeah, I went to VA recently, had a... Had a blood test done, because so I was like, yeah, I kind of have stomach problems. Sometimes my stomach you, is... You finally went to the doctor about your stomach problems. Well, uh, well, it wasn't actually wasn't about my stomach problems, and I almost forgot to bring it up. Uh, you went there for your finger? No, I went there for just, like, my annual checkup. And to show them your finger? No, it's just an annual checkup. Were you not going to bring up your finger at your checkup? Oh, I did bring it up, and they basically were like, okay, well, if you can't get a hold of anybody, then you have to reschedule a new thing. And I was like, cool, great, well, whatever, it's gone now. Anyway, I have celiac disease. Congratulations. I have an autoimmune disease of the stomach. We had speculated on that before. What was the breaking point to get checked? I, nothing. And they were already doing a blood test. And I was like, oh, hey, uh, can we do a test to see if I have IBS? And they said, well, there isn't really one for IBS. You just rule out things. <laughs> All right. And I went, okay. And they went, well, we'll do a blood test to see if you have celiac disease or something. I wonder if that's common, if that's their first thing. But whatever the case is, yeah, I have celiac disease, which explains why I can't drink beer. Because beer is liquid bread. Yeah. Beer is basically more bread than bread is somehow. <laughs> it's just concentrated bread. Yeah. It's just liquid bread. If I drink beer, my body just goes, ah! <laughs> So what you're saying is you're one of those hippie moms who needs to go on a gluten-free diet because it's eat good gluten. for me. I can't eat gluten. So that's the thing. For me, it is literally I have to go with gluten-free. Otherwise, if I eat anything with gluten in it, about 20 minutes later, I have to go to the bathroom and shit. And it's a lot. Gross. Yeah. Also, I have lactose intolerance. Or I have a mild... Forget if it was an allergy or a mild intolerance. I can't remember which one it is. It seems like the kind of thing you should remember. Yeah. Basically, I'm not supposed to have dairy. So <laughs> Did they write this down so you could check? Well, they said they were going to be sending me a letter with all this information in it, and I still haven't received it. You'll never so get it. I probably won't. I'm still waiting for the placard to come in, because we run a business, and I need to put up a placard that says workers' rights. And they said I'd get it in four to six weeks. I haven't gotten nothing. Did you actually order one? They, they're going to send me one. For for having a business, do I get do I get paid minimum wage? I can definitely pay you minimum <laughs> wage. Do not pay me minimum. <laughs> pay me more than minimum wage, for God's sake! You got it. Put minimum wage in a dollar. It is no. So tell me about how you can't drink milk. Started taking lactate. That seems to help quite a bit. It aids you in your lactose digestion. Yeah, because I, man, it contains the lactose enzyme. I'll give up bread because I have to, but I'm not giving up fucking dairy. You need that cheese. I need... Oh, man. I fucking... 
So you can't actually have pizza because you can't eat the cheese or the bread. You need gluten-free, lactose-free pizza. No, I've gotten gluten-free pizza and then I just take lactate with the first bite of pizza. Oh, okay. And that actually works really well. I've been able to eat pizza and not die. Can you have glutenade? No, there's no such thing as a glutenade. Damn. I'm really hoping that within the next few years, they'll come out with something so that I can modify my RNA so that I can actually eat bread again. I because I love bread. Maybe we'll genetically modify you to eat bread. This, I, I, I have to tell you, a day after they told me, yeah, you have celiac disease, I grieved not being able to eat bread. <laughs> you I was just in denial eating like five pretzel rolls at once. They're wrong. They're, They're wrong. wrong. I have to have this. <laughs> Just eating the pretzel roll, and the moment the pretzel roll is in my stomach, it's just like... <laughs> my stomach is just reacting negatively to it. I love bread. Bread is so good. I can't have bread anymore. I had to buy gluten-free bread. Do you know what a letdown that is? Is it still better than wheat snack bread? Unbelievably, it's better than wheat snack bread. It kind of tastes like sourdough. Oh, okay. But it's like, I really, I really have to eat it toasted. Mm -hmm. That's like the only way I actually enjoy it, is mm -hmm. when it's toasted. And, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to go gluten-free, it's difficult. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> I'm no. not happy that I have this stupid stomach problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so as it turns out, macaroni and cheese, one of my favorite meals of all time, is super not good for me, because it's... Is the pasta Mac got Pasta, which is made with wheat. Oh, I guess, yeah. <laughs> and cheese, which is made with dairy. Cheese. Man, if, if you cut macaroni and cheese and pizza and gluten and dairy out of my diet, I'm down to, like, chicken and potatoes and that's it. Yeah. Pretty much everything at the grocery store has gluten in it. And sugar. Pringles <laughs> have gluten. Oh, no. A chip made from a potato has gluten in it somehow. Hmm. Soy sauce has gluten in it. You gotta go hunting for specialty things. Yeah. I was at the grocery store the other day buying like a bunch of frozen dinners mm -hmm. because I, I, most of the time I can't be fucked to cook. Yeah. I just can't be bothered. Mm -hmm. So I'll just get like frozen dinners because usually there's a lot of frozen dinners that are actually very tasty. But I went to the grocery store and they had a whole section that was gluten free and I'm going and I'm like, oh, this looks good. This looks good. This looks good. I'm grabbing stuff and throwing it in the cart. And my girlfriend's like, that has gluten in it. <laughs> I'm like, why is it in the gluten free section? I don't know, but it has gluten in it. Well, all right, fine. Put that one back. This one has gluten in it. Maybe Why is this stuff in the gluten-free section? Maybe it's a minimal amount of gluten, an insignificant quantity. There's, I've seen a couple things where it says, like, contains less than 2% of wheat. Mm -hmm. And my girlfriend is like, would you eat something if I had less than 2% of rat droppings? And I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's less than 2%. That's fine. She still thinks you have standards. <laughs> I mean, I ate a whole rat turd yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Would you eat something if it had less than 2% of rat droppings? Who, me? Yeah. Is it on top, like a pizza topping, or inside, like it's a hot dog? It's just less, to, less than 2%. I think the FDA approves things that have <laughs> <laughs> It's probably okay if it has less than 2% of rat droppings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would you eat something if it had less than 2% of cockroach in it? Uh, I would eat something that had more cockroach than rat droppings. Cockroach is protein. Rat droppings is feces. I feel like cockroaches just carry staph infections. Probably. Staph disease? Streptococcus. Strep streptococcus. Is that it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I will say that when I was in college, I suspected that I had celiac disease. And you forgot about it? Well, I suspected that I did because pretty much everybody in my family has some type of stomach problem. Uh huh. One of my sisters ha also has celiac disease. Mm -hmm. One of my other sisters has Crohn's disease. And then my mom also has some type of autoimmune stomach problem. Even with this family history, you didn't want to go check. When I was in college, I didn't know that I got healthcare through the VA. So, <laughs> like, I wasn't going to go to a doctor and pay several thousand dollars for him to tell me that I have celiac disease. <laughs> I've done silly things like that, too. I took a physical fitness course at my college, and two-thirds of the way out through that course, I realized, oh, my military training already is considered for this. I don't have to take this class because I, I did boot camp, so. Ah. So I dropped out of the class. Nice. <laughs> that was a waste of money and time. Lovely. So when I was in college, I thought I had celiac disease, and I gotta say, yeah, like 10 years ago, it was so difficult to find gluten-free stuff. Mm -hmm. It was so hard. The only way you could get gluten-free bread was to buy a type of baking flour 
<laughs> make it yourself. You had to make the bread yourself. Ugh. Now, it is it is still more available, and I might have to actually start making bread myself, even though I don't really want to. Just so that I can actually have, like, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, because I miss having peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I love mm. peanut butter and jelly, even though I use jam and not jelly. You should talk to Kirk. He makes his own bread. He has a bacterial culture. Ooh. He yeah, but it probably has gluten in it. Probably. Yeah, it's probably made with wheat. Yeah. Yeah, 10 years ago, it was really difficult. It is much easier now to find gluten-free foods because of how, like, health-conscious everyone's become mm -hmm. and thinking that eating gluten-free is good for them. Bad diet. Yeah. You can get celiac disease to a point where, like, wheat will just fucking kill you. Wow. Maybe not instantly, but if you, if you made a concentrated effort to eat a bunch of wheat, <laughs> it would just fucking... It would annihilate your stomach. Wow, yeah. Rip, rip off all that stomach lining. Who needs it? Oh, man. I know I shouldn't, but it's like sometimes I just want something with weed in it. And you know what? Consequences be damned. And you finally bust out that MRE and chow down on that snack bread. Man, ugh, no. <laughs> ugh. I'm not wasting my one gluten-free point <laughs> on... No, it's actually, like, with celiac disease, you're supposed to completely cut out all wheat. Like, you're not supposed to have, like, cheat days or whatever. Yeah, well, you're... You're okay. You could lose stomach lining on Tuesdays only. You can lose... I, well, I don't know if that's what's happening. Is that what's happening with celiac disease? Is my stomach lining sloughing off? Did you ask the doctor when he told you? No, no, <laughs> no I didn't. Seems like it might have been pertinent to the conversation. I probably should look that up. <laughs> I learned more about photography with just me... Screwing around with a camera that I did from that entire photography course. Yeah. It was so dumb. The guy was a bajillion years old. <laughs> the class was two hours long. And every day he would start off with like the first 30 to 45 minutes were just him sharing these weird chain email things that he gets from his grandkids. <laughs> How many pictures did you actually take in that class? Man, I took a bunch of pictures, but it was like, I didn't learn anything in that class. I learned nothing. The first, like, three class periods were dedicated to, like, the word photography is Latin for drawing with light. <laughs> this is the history of photography. This is the first photo that was taken. And that was when I learned that you're either a good photographer or you aren't. Mm. That's not true. I had a similar high school art class where half the time was spent, ooh, this is Rembrandt was born in 1942 and he, he did these kind of drawings for Batman, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> what? <laughs> Rembrandt, when did, I don't remember Rembrandt drawing the Batman covers. I didn't take that class seriously, so when they gave us quizzes, you're supposed to try to pass these quizzes and answer questions. Uh -huh. Who is the artist that was born in 1842 and I just write, Batman. <laughs> I didn't fucking care. Good God, man. I had so much contempt for these quizzes. Wow, you really did not like art class. Is the art history section 15% of my grade? Okay, well, I'll just do good art and not care about studying. <laughs> you know what I have? A computer. I can look this information up. Yeah, remember when we were growing up and it was like, you need to learn how to do this math because you won't have a computer with you all the time. LOL, look what I got in my hand right now. It's a computer that's capable of doing advanced trigonometry on its own. Uh, you mock that, but I actually do do math in my head quite often. Just... I don't. <laughs> Why? What's the point? Math is stupid. I can do it faster in my head than on a computer. Uh-huh. Yeah, my ass you can. <laughs> I can! Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. All right, what's the sine cosine of tangent 13? I don't know that one. Ask me a simpler one. Ask me a question I would be encountering in my day-to-day -day operations. Okay, fine. How many square feet were on the first class deck of the Titanic? That's a memory question. Fuck you. Okay, fine. How many square feet are in this room right now? I'm not a, a architectural engineer. So, so you, you, math was pointless. You didn't need any of it. What is 37 plus 15? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'll just do, type it on my phone. 48. Done already. Boom. Done. <laughs> and am I supposed to be impressed? I am actually impressed because I can't do math in my head. Cool. I didn't know if I was correct, but I did it first. <laughs> the thing is, I don't know if you were correct either. I don't even remember what numbers you said. Oh, my God.